final time to upgrade the studio lights. Let's do this. FS300B 350 watts by color from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin can change your color temperature Whoa. and here we have it Whoa, it's really beefy and here we have it is the stand all the controls power on and here we have the light. Look how beautiful is this. Here we have a very big fan. Handle here to point it out. Really cool with the non-light branding. Look how big is this. And here we have all the diffusion. Now light power tube 30C RGB changing light they are the best you can get on the market for pro level pretty tall package Yes we have the two tubes with dedicated bags as well and here we have them look how big are they they are almost like a lightsaber. Wrong, wrong. Here we have the controller. You can change the temperature, the RGB color. They are battery powered. And on the other side we have the on off button. Oh, they are charged. So as you can see, if I change them here, I can change the color temperature and the intensity. And here we have all the RGB color control, the small display, colors, all the modes, smart modes. Here we have the cycle, really nice teal, I really like teal. Look how bright they get. You can get a really nice effect. You can add color to your unboxing just putting one there, for example. So this is 100%. Look how powerful those lights are. And my plan is to put them here, here behind the desk to make some really cool setup. The second one is the same. I really like having two. You can just grab one and put it behind you in the talking ad or add some color in the unboxing. They are super convenient, they have long life battery and having two is really a blessing. Here we have some accessories, some charging power cord. I guess the bricks to charge them. You can open it. They just can stay there and you can, in two seconds, just block it. These giant softbox. Okay, so now I have to make sure that the Velcro is tight. And now we should be good to mount it. Look how big is this. Let's try. So 
So now we have two different uh, layers of diffusion. We have the standard one and the other one which is called egg crate, which has some really nice grip. Now it's time to turn it on. By the way, really cool non-light branded cable strips. Okay, so this scene is a little bit underexposed, isn't it? So let's crack some lighting up. Now we are at 0%. Now let's change the color. As you can see here we have 2700 Kelvin, which is very warm. We can go up to 6500, which is very, very cool. Let's go to 50% and now all 100%. Basically, it's like having a portable sun. I'm super overexposed right now. Now I'm gonna turn off all the lights. Right now I'm using only the Nightlight 300B, which is at 25% and it's pretty far from me, but as you can see, I'm um, really overexposed now. I am plus two overexposed. I think that for this situation, 25% is even too much. I think that a 15% could work. Powerful is this light. Basically with one light, uh, I'm doing the job the other three lights do. So it's very convenient if you are on a set because you bring with you only one light and not three light. And the diffusion works very well. Okay, right now we are at 15%. My ISO is a base level. I'm uh, exposing correctly the footage, so it's really impressive. Okay, so now we are at 10% and I'm using just the 300B and I'm using it as my key light, so it's 45 degrees, so half of my face is lighting up and the other one hopefully is dark, creating some depth. And we also have this really cool grid. Okay, hey, just to wrap up this video, I want to show you my A-Roll talking head lighting setup. I have the Nightlight Forza 300B here as my main light, the key light, which is 45 degree angle from my face. And as you can see, I have this side of my face, which is slightly darker. And this one, this is really bright, so it can create some nice contrast and some depth. And as my rim light in the back, we have the power tube in teal that highlights my silhouette here. And we have another one here in red, right here that can create again some depth. If I wanted, I could add another light something like this, but I think that with those three lights we are already really good. So this wraps up for today, thanks so much for watching, be sure to stay tuned for the review that I'll make about this light, and as always stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!